Hey guys, Merry Easter. I hope you can still have a nice weekend, given the circumstances. I wonder if the Easter Bunny is social distancing. Do you think it's just gonna lay its eggs and throw them through our windows? I hope so. Lockdown update for me. My quiff is getting too much verticality and I'm almost at the stage where it looks like I've got a dog on my head. So I need to sort this out sometime soon. Today I'm a little bit bored. I've been seeing a lot of bored people online who are like dyeing their hair or doing some beautiful art or writing a sonata. But I thought, Philly, what do I want to do to fulfill myself? Emotionally, I wanted to follow a TikTok trend because I am still down with stuff. So today I'm going to be making the viral whipped TikTok Dalgona coffee Easter edition. I've seen this freaking whipped TikTok coffee on every single platform I look at. Open Instagram, there it is. Open YouTube, there it is. Talk to my mum, there it is. So I was like, I need to try this. I need to do it. I need to see what the fuss is about. I want to give it a review. You basically whip coffee with sugar so much that it almost goes solid and then you just plonk it on top of some milk and have a drink. That seems slightly boring to me, so I want to Easterfy it. I want to add more sugar. I want to add more colour. I want to make it so Easter Bunny and Jesus would want to cheers it. As a coffee fan, I sometimes feel left out in snobby coffee conversations when people are like, oh, you can only drink Canadian cold brew coffee straight from the moose's teats. And I just like things simple with my Nescafe original. This is not a spawn. It's just what I drink. I've drunk it since I was 10 years old, which I would not recommend giving to your children. Fight me with your tiny coffee cups. I'll just smash them out of your hands. Breathe, relax. There is nothing like ripping over the silver foil and opening an Nescafe original and having a sniff. It's like a pure nosegasm. That's been around for a while, so it's less. But this recipe it uses my fave, so it's gonna be a winner, guys. So you will need coffee, a tablespoon, which I actually found a tablespoon measurement, so apparently it's that. Big. Water. Oh, I sniffed it. <laughs> uh, mine's slightly warm because I heard that makes it better. Milk. I've got normal milk, but also pastel yellow banana milk. I've got enough sugar. Ooh, that's satisfying to slap. To keep me happy for an hour. I've got some fun Easter coloured sprinkles, food colourings to get some Easter colours on the go. Some marshmallow peeps, which I found in a distant cupboard and somehow they are still in date. I've got this white chocolate sauce that I had sitting around from another baking experiment, so I figured this might be good. Or I could just squeeze it into my mouth when the camera's off. I wanted some mini marshmallows. I thought this said 100 grams. And I figured it was a little bit pricey because of the apocalypse, but... <laughs> <laughs> This is what turned up. This is a kilo of marshmallows. I can literally use this as a pillow. I've also got some decaf coffee because if you're a bit of a caffeine lightweight like me, two tablespoons of coffee is like four cups of coffee. So I've got some decaf to mix in. And some ice cubes which are melting. Oh, big brain time. Uh, I'm gonna put these back in the freezer. Someone shamed me after wearing these shorts on my Insta stories. Look, Deborah. We're in lockdown, I'm not at fashion week. I've also got some mini eggs, which I've already opened, surprise, surprise. And then the internet highly recommended using an electric whisk. Or if you want to work out, you want to destroy your arms, or you're generally buff, go with a standard whisk. That is a lot of ingredients for a famous three ingredient coffee. I know I'm being a bit extra, but I think it's going to be worth it for the sake of the Easter bunny. So, Christ, sorry, can't to say Christ. Jesus, Easter. Right, got my ball out for the lads. So the first edition is gonna be a chocolate and banana pastel Easter extravaganza. Because it's an extravaganza, we're gonna be using the fancy cup and also the banana milk. I know people don't technically nom down on bananas at Easter, but the color is too good to be true. It looks like we've blended a load of chicks together. <laughs> right, to make the coffee foam, we're gonna do two, tablespoons of coffee, two tablespoons of sugar. That's so much sugar. <laughs> I guess this is what a Starbucks is like if you just break it down. Waters. And then because it's Easter, I'm gonna put some chocolate powder in as well, just to give it a chocolate twang. I'm also gonna put green food coloring in because brown, it's not an Easter color. I was thinking yellow, but I don't think that's gonna change the brown. So I'm gonna try and do pastel green. There's three greens, blue green, grass green, or yellow green. I'm gonna go with yellow green because it's the lightest. Also the source of many arguments. Is this yellow or green? Fight. I've not read the instructions, so I'm just gonna put loads in. Right, let's get whiskered. The instructions were to just keep frothing it and frothing it and frothing it till there's nothing else but froth. You're in a sea of froth. Ooh, ooh, that is not a pastel green. <laughs> Do they say some animals can see more colors than humans? I think I just made one of those colors. This is, this looks so gross. 
Oh, it's getting more foamy. All right, it's been about three minutes and it's starting to foam, but it's looking nothing like I imagined in my head. I want it to be a light pastel green, but maybe with more and more air, it's gonna become lighter and lighter. Oh, scheisse. Oh God, <laughs> just gone. I'm just rearranging my whisk and I've got green goo all over my MacBook. No! It looks like a crocodile sneezed on it. I thought this video would be without chaos and I've already ruined my laptop. I'm gonna add some grass green and see if that makes it any better. Ah, that's better. It's looking good. These ice cubes are so cute, it kind of hurts. It's like actually painful. All right, so plonk a couple of ice cubes in. Get your banana milk. If you don't have banana milk, you can just put some yellow food dye into normal milk because it'll make the same color. Fill your glass with your banana milk. And then we're gonna blob on the TikTok slime. <laughs> yes, it's happening. Just try and get as much as you can out of the bowl. This is super satisfying. It is nearly full to the brim. Now I think I'm gonna decorate it with pastel yellow sprinkles. That looks actually professional. And then top it off with a couple of peeps. This one looks scared, this one looks drunk, this one looks suspicious. These guys are my friends. Place your peeps. No! Oh my god! I'm just play, placing the peeps on it and it's... It's fully overflowed! I didn't think peeps had this much mass! What is happening? I guess it looks more Instagrammable now, with it dripping down the side. Those peeps are happily nestled in there though, they're having a great time. This is like a spa. I don't have any straws, save the whales. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, this is like some kind of horrible challenge. I'm sorry if this mess and chaos is upsetting you. Right, I'm gonna have a peep. The peep and the coffee, heavenly. I don't care if my hands are covered in slime. That banana coffee combo is incredible. The sweetness of the banana and the bitterness of the coffee are swirling around in my tongue, and in my tongue, on my tongue, and it's amazing. Mmm, great. A few moments later. Right, the next one I'm gonna try and learn from my mistakes. I don't think I'll whip that enough. I wanna be able to turn it upside down and it doesn't go anywhere. So I think the solution for that is a smaller bowl so we can get more air in it without it spreading all over the bottom. Secondly, I filled the cup too much. That's easily <laughs> remedied. And thirdly, it looked a bit crap. So I'm gonna be more artisanal, anal, artis artisanal. I'm just gonna do it better. Right, the next one is Red Velvet Strawberry Special. There's gonna be alcohol involved, but you could make your own with, I don't know, Red Velvet Ice Cream or Red Velvet Flavoring of some kind. Just be creative. Let's dip our whisk into this. Are you having a laugh? Why was the water in that bowl? I'm literally gonna yeet myself through the window in a second. Oh good, the letter T is just continually typing onto the screen now. You know, like the universe is not my friend today. Ein, zwei. Maybe I'll do the water now. Just spice it up a bit. No, because now my spoon is wet and I've got to dip it in the sugar. That's why I didn't do the water first. <sighs> I'm gonna do a very heap sugar because it's still quite bitter. And two, let's get some pink in there. That'll do. I'm nervous. Woo! Oh great, it looks like blood. It is whipping up so much easier in this little bowl, but the color is grotesque. I'm gonna put some more pink in. That is thick. This is a thing of beauty. The color is even like a spring pig. I'm so pleased with that. Got a less impressive glass this time, because I only have one special glass. All right, time to get lit. <laughs> because of the trauma of last time, I'm gonna start things off with some red velvet Baileys. Ooh, it matches! Guys, has any two colors ever matched more than them? I'm not getting wasted, so I'm not gonna make the entire thing Baileys. You do as you want at home. We're gonna add some milk and see how pink it goes. Ooh, that is actually quite a nice pastel pink. I'm just putting a couple drops of pink in just to fully pink it out. Let's get scooping. I should just make a whole Instagram of me playing with this thick, gloopy, Coffee. It's like visual ASMR. Right, I don't want to lose too much air from it, so I'm just gonna blob as much as I can. It won't even come off my spoon. Go on. <gasps> Look at that erect peak. I'm gonna get my thousand kilos of marshmallows and do a beautiful, aesthetic, well-considered design. I'm going for a two pinks, two whites pattern around the edge. The marshmallows are just hanging out on there. They could be there all week. Then I'm gonna to attempt to put some mini eggs on. I'm scared they're gonna sink. <gasps> it's working! Yes, it's like the drink is an Easter nest. Now I'm gonna top it off with the white chocolate drizzle. 
And some sprinkles. Do you think a peep would be too much now? Yeah, Phil, learn your lessons from last time. No peeps, no. Okay, it's done. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Oh. The coffee is so thick, I can't even get the milk to come through. I'm gonna have to spoon it. This is like 20 times creamier than ice cream. It's such an insane texture. It's like drinking a coffee cloud. The red velvet milk, a creamy coffee, and a mouthful of mini egg is probably one of the best things I've eaten this year. I'm gonna say one thing, this is very hard to drink. I think it's more of a spoon scenario. I don't wanna mix it all together because that- I just lost my spoon. <laughs> My spoon is no more. Okay, full review. Taste, no matter what you do, it's just coffee, sugar, and milk. So that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a nice coffee, but with all the Easter additions, I think that elevates it. So on its own, I reckon I'd probably give it a three out of five, but with all my special Easter flavors, I'd probably give the banana one a four and this one a five. Texture is fun, but like I said, it is hard to drink. You can either eat it with a spoon, but then you're just eating all the coffee and then you've got to drink some milk. Or mix it all together, but then what's the point? Because that's just a latte and you've lost all your foaminess. Or I think sipping through the foam so you get a bit of both in your mouth with any added little bits on top. That is the winner. My overall opinion, would I bother to make this over a standard coffee or an iced coffee? Probably not every day, especially if I didn't have an electric whisk because some people are whisking this for like three hours. As an activity or a treat, I would definitely say, yeah give it a go. Other things I think you could do is do it with heaps more chocolate powder to make it really chocolatey. Or if you're feeling Japanese, you could try some matcha powder and make a green tea version. I think that would be amazing and probably match this uh, <laughs> color a bit more as well. Thanks for coming with me on this sticky <laughs> adventure. I hope you've had a good time. Let me know in the comments any things that you've tried at home during lockdown. Maybe I'll give them a go in a future video. Definitely stuff your face with chocolate this weekend. I think we've all deserved it. And I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.